So what's the end game for China's space program? To help us figure this out, we're joined today on Skype by Gregory Kulaki, the senior analyst on China's defense and arms control policies for the Union of Concerned Scientists. Dr. Kulaki has studied and written extensively about Chinese space program. Thanks for joining us today. Glad to be here. So Gregory, why are the Chinese so interested in projecting themselves into space? Well, space technology is important to almost everything we do in, in modern society, to communication, transportation, navigation, uh, as well as to Earth observation, disaster management, and military and security uh, issues. So the Chinese made a decision uh, early in the 1980s when they decided to uh, modernize their economy and society that they were going to make a major investment in space technology. Now, is their interest in developing their spacefaring capabilities rooted more in economic and commercial interests or more in military interests? Well, I think it's more in organizational and uh, technical expertise. If you look at the historical debates around the human spaceflight program, for example, uh, what China was really interested in was developing a large cadre of technically trained uh, young people. Uh, who would have the ability to manage large-scale, complex projects. And that was one of the main motivations for the human spaceflight program. Okay. So it wasn't so much that they were actually trying to go into space. It was just more of a focal point in terms of developing their internal capabilities and human talent pool. But they also saw space as something that other nations were doing, uh, and that it was important for China to be there. Uh, for example, the U.S. was planning the space station Freedom. The Russians were building Mir. They didn't want to be left behind. Now, where do the Chinese stand then in relation to the U.S. and other countries in terms of their uh, space capabilities? Uh, in human spaceflight, China is decades behind the United States and Russia. They're doing things that the United States did in the very early days of our space program. Um, in other areas of space technology, China has probably closed the gap a little quicker in communication and navigation satellites, but they're still quite a ways behind uh, the United States. And what's sort of their, their ultimate goal here? Are they trying to potentially put people on the moon? China has never had any plans to put people on the moon. Uh, I know it's often discussed, but it's only been very recently uh, that China is considering feasibility studies uh, of a potential human mission in the future. But they've made no decision and committed no funds to that. Thanks so much, Greg. You can learn more about Greg and his work on our website at linkasia.org. Airwaves, a global channel of uncompromising stories. World news, documentaries, entertainment, and culture. Link TV, connecting you to the world. For more information, visit linktv.org.